My name is Paul Jackson. I'm an origami artist and it's been my living for about 25 years. Um, I want to show you first what's come to be called the Jackson Cube, which means that it's a cube that I sort of invented many years ago uh, and it now has my name. It's very, very simple, but you need to make it carefully. So here's how we do it. It's a square of paper. There are two colours on the two sides. Now you don't need to fold in half. You just need to make a little line at the side open it, turn it, do the same on the next edge, just a little line at the side in the middle here, open it, so you now have two lines on two sides. Use one of them as a reference and fold to the middle. Turn the paper round, do the same again. So the other little pinch, maybe you can't see this on camera, the other little pinch is now in the middle on the left or the right, so use that as a reference in the middle, and fold the short side to it, turn it round, and the other short side. And that's all you need to do, except to open it so that they stand upright like two doors. So now you need to make six of those, and it's best if you fold them in pairs of colours. So I've got two yellows, two greens, and two sort of pinky red ones. So now they can fit together to make a cube. So start with the yellow one, here on the table, and now we take another colour, let's take green, and put it in at the side of the yellow one, like that. So what you need to remember is symmetry and mirror images. So whatever you do on one side, you do the same on the opposite side. So we have the one yellow and two green. Now the red, that plugs in at the side, so this is always a bit messy. Okay, they have this side, and now the opposite side as well. It's one side and the opposite. Turn it round so you can see. Plug the tabs in at the side. It's not very strong at this point, and it has a habit of exploding. Like this, hold it together as best you can. And finally, a piece goes on the top. So again, just plug in the tabs at the side. Put it in here and on the other side. And just sort of squash it together in your fingers. So this is the basic cube. 